Oh God, I've become a crossfitter. Hey guys, Michael here from fat to fit and the topic of today's video is going to be deloads and the reason for this video is that this week I have actually decided to do a deload week. So what is a deload week you ask? Well, a deload is basically when you do all the same exercises, your same routine you're used to throughout the week, but what you do differently is you drop the weight and the number of sets you do by a certain amount. The most recommended or from what I've researched, the most likely range to drop a by is about 20 to 40%. So for example, if you're lifting 100 kilos and you're, you decide to do a deload, you drop it to maybe around 60 kilos. And if you do say five sets of 10, you drop it down to three or four sets of 10. So that's basically how a deload works. And so the reason why I'm doing a deload and the reason why you may need a deload is mainly there's a few different reasons. One, if, um, my main reason is that I'm getting aches and pains that aren't going away and it's more than my usual DOMS, delayed onset muscle soreness and I just and you're just feeling tired, you're mentally strained, all of these things. It, you're feeling that it might be time to consider a deload just to give your body a rest, to give it a break in order to kind of reset and just come back even stronger and better, ready to get back into it. Now, if you're just feeling the regular DOMS from a workout and it's something that goes away, a deload isn't something you normally need, but every now and then you just kind of get stuck in a rut, you kind of plat plateau, maybe your weight, uh, your lifting weights aren't going up or you're not being able to hit your rep ranges or anything like that. And if that's the case, a deload week may be able to help you. I haven't really taken a break in the two years that I've been lifting. I haven't taken a break pretty much at all and this is my first deload so I think maybe it would work for me. Maybe it would just help my body to reset just to come back even strong and get rid of these aches and pains especially in like my joints and my muscles. It's just constantly there and you want to get rid of it so you can get back to focusing on your lifting so you don't have to worry about constantly injuring yourself that's another reason you may do a deload because if you're if this soreness isn't going away you're more likely to injure yourself you're not being as safe uh, you're not getting the best workout you can and that's really not optimal it's not what you want you want to be hitting the weights hard every single workout and putting as much as your effort as you can into the workout Anyway, so that's going to be the end of this video, a short little informational one for you guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've had any experiences with deloads before, or if you just want to have a chat with me, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you later, guys.